Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing by far the most requested video on my channel and that is a Notion tour slash how to use Notion, how to make your Notion aesthetic, and templates because everyone keeps asking me for my templates. First off, I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video. I can't even, like that's so crazy. Notion is an all-in-one workspace that can be used for all aspects of your life like school, work, home, pretty much anything Thing in your life that you want to organize. It's super customizable and you can create entire systems using just Notion. So click the link in the description box to sign up for Notion and get access to all the amazing aesthetics and organization. In this video I'm going to be showing my Notion setup and also how I created it. You can use the chapters to find the spot that you want to go to and with that being said let's get right into it. Okay, so this is my Notion homepage. I created this template from scratch, but there are a bunch of templates that you can use on Notion. And I feel like this template just works for me, mostly because I created it from scratch. Later on in the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this so you can do it yourself. So first up on the top, we have a banner. I just created this in Canva and used some pictures from Pinterest. And I think that it makes a really nice touch for my Notion home screen. It just has some pictures that kind of inspire me and I made that the banner. On the left side, I have all of my important stuff. This is basically like my dashboard, almost like a table of contents for my whole Notion and all of it is clickable so you can click into it and go directly to that page. First up we have all my classes. I'll go more in depth into my classes in a second but I have all of my college classes and then I have a little section that I labeled for me. I have my social media page, my habit tracker, my monthly budget, and new car info because I'm looking into purchasing a car. I just have all the information there. I have this cute little picture that I found on Pinterest. I don't know I just thought it was cute kind of match the aesthetic of the page and then on the right side I have all of my goals for 2022 I just like having it there because it's a little constant reminder of exactly the goals that I'm trying to achieve below that I have a weekly calendar I like having a weekly calendar because I can put detailed structures of my upcoming week which I think is really important for me I have the little to-do list function just so that I can check off anything when I finish it and then right below that I have another calendar because I like my calendars but I personally really like having two calendars one that's a weekly calendar so I can see what's coming up throughout the week and then a monthly calendar so I can see what's happening next week so I have my deadlines calendar this is mostly for school but I also add other things from my life onto this calendar as well but I basically have all of my deadlines you can see I have my history stuff and my sociology stuff and it basically it just gives me insight to what's coming up so if I see like okay in three weeks I have a project then I need to get started working on it now the calendar function is really really great because there's so many ways that you can customize it and that is my home page now I'm going to show you how I use notion for school so for example we'll go into my history class I have all of my information about this class it's basically a summary of the syllabus so I have when the lecture is the professors information so like their office hours their email and then I also have all of my TAs important stuff if you're in university, you know what a TA is, but if you are not in university, TA stands for Teaching Assistant. I also have a grade breakdown because I like to know how much each project is worth. And then I have the course schedule, which basically tells me all the upcoming projects. So for example, for this history class, I have a skill development quiz in a few days, so I'm starting to work on that now. So that is how I use Notion for school. All of my little classes look exactly like that. It's really nice to have it all in one place and like a little summary of the syllabus because most of the time, a class syllabus is a couple pages long and it's really hard to find the information that you need. This just has all the information right in one place. Below my classes I have my social media, my habit tracker, my monthly budget, and my car info. My social media page is definitely one of my most important because it keeps me organized. Other than being a student I do YouTube pretty much full-time like that's my job which sounds so weird to say but that's how I make my money. It's really important for me to stay organized with budgeting and sponsorships and content idea and all that kind of stuff. I have a folder for it. In this folder, I have three different sections. I have Instagram, which if you're not following, definitely go follow my Instagram. I have my sponsorship side, and then I also have my YouTube side, which takes up the bottom half of the page because it's a big one. For Instagram, I just have my monthly follower goal, and I have some real ideas. Next to that, we have my sponsorships, and this is a really, really important one because I keep all of my sponsorship information in it. For example, today's sponsorship. In the little folder for Notion, I have the outline of the video. I have all the information 
information like the deliverables, the compensation, all that kind of stuff, all the information I need in one place. Below that I have my YouTube and this is basically just for video ideas, really, really important. This function on Notion where you can create timelines for projects. So for example, I'm working on this video right now, how to make an aesthetic Notion and a Notion tour and it's in progress. But in a few days, I'm gonna start working on my monthly reset routine so I can drag that into in progress and that is what I'm working on now. And then when I complete this video, I will move it into completed. Then I know I don't need to work on it anymore. It's done. This really just helps me stay on track with my videos, when I'm getting them out, what I need to start working on, what's upcoming, all that kind of stuff. And then I just have a folder for video ideas, of course. This is basically like the master list. I just have all of my video ideas on this. So that is my social media folder. Then we have my habit tracker. This is a template that Notion has, which is really, really helpful because I can keep track of all of my goals. My only two goals as of right now are to drink water and journal every day and I've been doing a pretty good job with that and I think part of that is because it just really helps to motivate me by the end of the week seeing all of the little boxes are blue it just means that I had a good week and I was actually trying to take care of myself then we have my monthly budget I'm trying really hard to not spend as much money on like unnecessary things like clothes and unnecessary food so this really helps me to track my purchases and actually like by the end of the month I can see like what I need to not spend so much money on because I am very bad at uh, keeping track of my money and then lastly I have a new car information and this is basically just all the information I have for a car that I want to buy like the mileage and the price and the amenities and all that kind of stuff so that is a little tour of my notion I've gotten so many so many questions about like doing a tour in it so I'm glad that I could finally get that out for you guys if you're looking to use notion for different parts of your life like your home and school and work there are lots and lots of templates that could help you now I'm gonna show you how you can make your own template Template. I'm very excited to show this. I've been wanting to do this for a while because so many people ask me for my template and I think my template is great because it works for me. Everyone's lives are different so a different template will work for different people. So I'm going to show you exactly how I made my template. The first thing is colorful text. This one is so fun. It's really easy. All you have to do is type out your word. Next to your words there will be these six dots. You want to click that. It will open up all of these options and you're going to go to color and then you can just click any color that you want. You can change the background or you can change the actual font color. If you want to change the font, all you have to do is go to the top right corner, click the three dots, and then you have the three different styles. I like to use the second one or the third one. It depends on the page, honestly. And I think the font really just changes the vibe of the whole page. To add emojis, all you have to do is add icon, and then you can choose whatever emoji you want to use. If you don't want an emoji as your header, then you can just change that. Now for banners. Banners are so important in the aesthetics. On my homepage, page I have a banner that I made but in some of my other pages for example my social media page I just have a banner that I found on Notion. When you have a page you want to bring your cursor to the top part of the page and do add cover and then it will usually do a random generated one and obviously I don't want that one so I'm going to do change cover. You can either upload yours or you can click unsplash and then you can search whatever background you want. I'm gonna do sky because I think that clouds look really cute and that is how I have a cute little background. Next when you want to organize your page and you want to put two sections side by side all you have to do is click on the six dots on whatever you're trying to move and then drag it to the side of whatever you're trying to put it next to and that is how I created this little weekly calendar thing so that I can have all the days of the week lined up and that's also how I created three separate little sections here for my dashboard and this little picture and then my goals one of my favorite features about notion is the calendar option it's really easy to add a calendar into your page or wherever you want to add the calendar just click the plus button button and then scroll down and then you can easily just add a calendar if you want to do it in line you can do that or if you want to make it its own separate page you can also do that also adding pictures is super super easy again all you have to do is click the plus button scroll down and upload an image and you can just upload it from your desktop honestly the only way you're really gonna get to learn how to use notion is if you just go and experiment and that is how I created my own template it really helps to just go in and play around with it to see what you need in your setup this setup works for me because I went and literally took a few hours to just organize all the stuff that I wanted on it. If you do use my template and make it your own, please, please, please post it on your Instagram story and tag me because I really, really want to see it. I really, really want to see how you guys put your own creative touch on this. And if you use any of these tips, also tag me on an Instagram story because I really, really want to see it. Another tip for Notion is I feel like Notion only works if you check it 
every day because you can have all of your deadlines and all of your projects on there but if you're not frequently checking it then it's kind of useless so getting into the habit of checking it every day because then i can see everything that i need to do for the upcoming week and all of the projects that i have coming up for school and youtube so it took me a while to get into the gist of checking it every day but now that i do check it every day i'm always on top of it because there's no excuse not to be when it's like right in front of your face i really really recommend just checking it every day and getting into that habit so that is my notion set up and how I make my notion aesthetic. I hope it was helpful. If you have any more questions, make sure you comment them down below and I will try my best to answer it. Thank you again to Notion for partnering with me for this video. This is literally a dream sponsorship. I cannot even express how much I love it. So if you're interested, definitely click the link in my description box to sign up for Notion today. Trust me, you will not regret it. Ever since I had to start balancing school on YouTube, it has helped me out so much with organizing for classes and content. So I feel like it'll help you guys out too. Thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more fun upcoming videos I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone